you guys had the like they had the giant you know how like some oh, football his, teams come oh, out of the we blast. had this massive float called the Bams, oh, just wow. big old Mustang head. Yeah. And honestly, like we get in there and it's like we're just all standing around there, like just a bunch of chumps, because like there's some like <laughs> random rap music playing in the back, and we're like, Ooh, you know. And, and then, then, really then you charge out, and it's like, then yeah. you charge out, and it's all cool. But like people think we're just bumping in there, but really we're just kind of like sitting there waiting for us it's to get out of there. So <laughs> that's funny. Deep Dive Podcast, where we dive deep into extremely controversial subjects and also interview some pretty amazing people. Thank you for listening or watching, whichever one you're doing. If you find us inspiring, go try subscribing. How we doing today, boys? Doing good? We got, a, we, got a, um, we got two guests on today, so we, we, we went ahead and brought them on first, first thing because uh, George and our other cameraman, I believe, are out of town, so sadly George is not on this episode. It's just Millen and I um, hosting. So, but we got we got two of my uh, best friends over here, and um, if you're if you're watching us, by the way, or if you're listening to us, you can watch us on YouTube where we got live video. Um, we actually have no cameraman today, so there's going to be a couple of cuts every every ten minutes or so, just because I have to get up and cut those stuff. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the twins known throughout KC. <laughs> and Dallas, Texas. When it comes to lifting and football combined, these beasts cannot physically be stopped. But they do not only possess brute strength, they are also part of a professional alternative rock band, Odyssey 39. And they've been my friends for as long as I can remember. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dylan and Drake Beckwith. And we barely have anybody clapping. Yeah. No, nobody else here. All right, so a very famous um, segment that we have every episode is called Pose a Question. And it's like a question that I ask everybody, and it's usually a pretty cool question. Um, so I've got a, kind of a two-part question today. And since I know you guys love to eat, um, I figured a controversial food topic should be, should be the way to go. Um, so my question today is, what is the best cereal? <laughs> I mean, I have my answer. Well, it's like a tie between three. Between there's, three? There's definitely some good options. Um, yeah. Like... I've, we, I would say, just off the top of my head, I'd go with Reese's Puffs. Really? Because um, <laughs> usually, like, we we only eat, like, healthy cereal, so there's kind of, like, a division mm -hmm. between, like, healthy cereal and then there's all the other crap. So, True. usually when yeah. we splurge, it's on Reese's Puffs. I will say Captain Crunch with berries, another top oh, yeah. option. That's, that was my that was um, my answer, so. But if, if we're just going to go healthy, um, I'm thinking some Raisin Bran. Oh, yeah. That's actually not bad. So, I haven't had those. Yeah, I, I go, I go with those good. three. Good. So. I don't know if this is like if it's included or or not. I tend to like more granola kind of based, but I don't know if that's really <laughs> cereal rather than just like granola. Yeah. So well, as long as you pour milk into it, then yeah. I guess I take <laughs> cereal. Some, you know, uh, peanut cluster is I feel like it's dominant in any regard. So. Either that Fair. or just plain Cheerios, to be honest. Yeah, Honey Nut Cheerios. So yeah, Honey Nut Cheerios are. My I mean, that's the. OG. I mean, oh, yeah, that's I the. Mean, yeah. yeah. But uh, Cheerios. Honey Nut Cluster of Oats. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like those as much, but Honey Nut Cheerios. Is There's actually good. Special K is pretty good with the strawberries. Have you tried those? Uh no. No. Actually, the Cluster of Oats is pretty good. I think. Really? I, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's like it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, Special K. Special K almond. And vanilla eh, almond. Sorry, that I don't like so almonds. Good. Almonds are pretty I don't so like good. almonds in it, any type of. I wouldn't say. I don't like almonds cereal. either. But like, like it, you don't really. Yeah, it's like well, really thinly really <laughs> sliced. They don't, put much, they don't put much almonds in that, right? Oh, I mean, granola. Uh, no, 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 no. Like you can't. Well, really I know they have nuts and whatnot, but you can't really taste it because like there's like very few of them. They're really thinly sliced. It's oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, that little like I don't know flavor. I guess is the thing. The cereal. Because it was like almond cereal. Like I wouldn't eat that. But like there's yeah, yeah. Just called like vanilla almond. I guess. Yeah, it's good. I like it. So, I don't know. All right. Well, um, we got we got a little segment here called Awesome Object. We did this um, a couple of times, or maybe just once so far. But today, I brought an awesome object over here. Ooh, what is it? So, so actually, um, if you're if you're watching this, you know you can obviously see it. But if not, we'll describe it for you. Um, basically, Davo. Actually, I, actually, I think I was the one who knew about it first. Or I mean, you probably knew about it too. But yeah, I but I brought it to you, and I was yeah. like, 
hey, I want to get these shoes, and they're the new collab with Lego. So it's Adidas and Lego shoes. And, you know, sorry to backtrack to when I was like seven, but, you know, the, these are pretty nuts. I think these are um, pretty, pretty amazing. Check these out. Absolutely just crisp. Lego Ultras. And they're making yep. a Lego Superstar next. Um, what is that? Super, it's like, um, you know, all those girls wore it, like three stripes, kind of black and white, low top. Okay, and, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. You can probably... No, I know, what you're, I know what you're talking about. You can probably insert a picture. Professors of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember, I remember when they got announced to release. Um, I don't really think much about them, but uh, Nathan said he wanted a pair. And when he told me, um, I kind of forgot about it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but then we, we, were, we were driving back from somewhere, and, and then, I got a notification, um, you know, because I got, I got the sources... That there was a restock on Adidas right there, and he needed eleven and a half, which is kind of a hard to find size. So I said, "Do you want? Do you need these?" Send the link, and he bought them. Uh, eleven and a half sold out. Um, I think within the hour. The hour. Um, I'm not sure if they've restocked since then, but uh, I really like them. I actually yeah, have not worn them <laughs> yet because <laughs> I don't know. I have to say because like a it. lot of collab, like Adidas, has a ton of collabs. They do. They've done Star oh, yeah. Wars. Yeah, they've done. They've done like oh, Dragon yeah. Ball Z. <laughs> Um, they've done I think they've done like cars too or something like, like they've done a ton of stuff mm. and a lot of it's been like man I mean they, they come with everybody they come with Beyonce her shoes are actually not bad though yep. but I was surprised I was surprised by these because Lego like you don't really think about that as like a lifestyle shoe type thing but yeah yeah this it's, actually came out well, really very, well very See, unique, I put these very unique look. so you get to put as it the three stripes really well. you get to put whatever bricks or like colors you want in it and so you could do like all blue or whatever but yeah I mean they got pretty, good pretty details cool. you get the details on the sole I don't know if people can see these but yeah. it's like almost studded that's my one if I was to talk deep, if I was can you put a brick on, this, on the toe box that would God, be pretty no, cool no, no, you can. there's no way they can get even uh, surface yeah, even. yeah. that but, would um, be actually cool like you build <laughs> but yeah. like they could have messed cool. these they could have messed these up so bad they yeah. could have made these terrible Made just a big brick and called a shoe. They actually mm. made them into a good looking shoe. I will give them that. Yeah. Now they um the one thing is is the soles are a little annoying because they got the bumps for the like the Lego bricks. I see. I usually got so, like soles in my ultra boosts. Oh, you did. Yeah. They give you a little more more support oddly because your foot is uh, more deep in there. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I have the same model type on today. Not the same color, but. Hmm. All right. Well. Um. Let's move on to the guys who are actually here. Um, for <laughs> oh, yeah. this is the purpose of the episode. Okay. Um, so we wanted to. You want to start off with some music, and then we'll get to football. Um, but me and them and their older brother are in a band called Odyssey Thirty Nine. We check out the new song. We actually yes, we released our very first song called Plain Sight. Um, Woo -woo! Yeah. Some heat. It's some heat. Just oh, instant yeah. plug, real quick. Um, yeah. <laughs> so no, no. It's. I mean, it's. Like people think, oh, you know, we're teenagers, but it's it's professionally it's done. It's super much mastered. Like you would you? I mean, I remember Nathan uh, first played. It, he was like playing music. Or, um, I don't know what it was. Oh, we were just, just playing in the car on the way to state on the state baseball game. No, but it was before that because it was like it was like the oh, prototype or something like that. And he played it, and, he, and I well, I didn't know it was his song. So he's like, <laughs> he's like, what do you think? Um, what do you, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, you hear this song, and I, and I and I was thinking like it was some like popular song back in the day. That um, I had forgotten. I was like, I was like, I don't recognize them. Like, like who yeah. is like, who is? It? I'm trying to, th I'm trying to put a finger on it. And they like, that's that's me. <laughs> that's us. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that. No, it's um. So it's I didn't. I mm -hmm. thought it was. I mean, it is professionally done. Yeah, no, it's like very well song. done. Yeah. I did. I asked. We were, we played it. We were lifting in football, and I played it on the speakers while we were lifting for summer. And I go, I go to a coach. And I didn't tell him. It's like you like the song. He's like, no. What is this trash? I was like, oh my gosh. But I told him. He's like, oh shoot. He's like, oh yeah, it's good. But, but the thing is, like, it's you, funny. like after they listen to it, they they don't have to like the song because of the genre. But like, they mm -hmm. can tell it's a really well done song. Yeah, I think that's where yeah, it really yeah. counts. Well, it's like the fact that it wasn't quite really a workout. You know, oh, it's, it's not a workout. Really yeah, it's not a workout. It's, 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 it's not metal, like, obviously. A lot, like, a lot of more friends than I thought actually like enjoy listening to it, and they actually like listen to it on their own, which is very sure. Appreciate the quality is what we like. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually something. Like it's your first song as like a group, like, yeah. at least. So only can go from there. So, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, we've got some stuff in the works. So. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. behind when's, the scenes. When's the album coming out? <laughs> it's, 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 it's a, a process. By December, I think. Be sure. December. 
So, really? I don't, I don't know. We don't have a At least that's not like, There's no defined date. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> to. I don't know about that. This next week. But, um, yeah, just like a month of just back to back to back songs. Yeah. Uh, all right. I need to stop this real quick. So, um, do you want to ask him something about, about, yeah. or about music? So, my first, actually, my first question, um, it's kind of, it's kind of general, like out there, mm-hmm. but not a lot of people are making music. Uh, I know there's a few people from our school, I think they graduated that, you know, they, they try to be like rappers. But there's not oh, a lot really? of like hardcore, mm-hmm. um, oh. like actual like musicians, like, like, like a band. Yeah. Okay. So like, what is it that you guys like about making music, or what is that kind of experience like? Um, what's well, definitely unique, and it's something that you can say, and not a lot of other people can say that they're doing that. And really, sure. just the main part is just, it's a lot of fun, and it's really it something fun. really cool to do. And as I said, not a lot of other people are doing this. Like we're in a band, we're putting out music. Really cool experience. You're going to studios, you're talking to cool people. And just kind of, you know, just playing your instrument, just a lot of fun on its own, so, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like to play drums and be in this band really just because of the, you know, creativity inspires. Uh, there's, I mean, obviously there's an endless possibilities to how you can create something. And it's just amazing. It's like, I don't know, it's just very interesting to me to explore those possibilities. Um, yeah, for sure. It's just I just, just love doing it. It's just cool. Yeah, yeah there's so many things to cool. learn in all the niches and every single <laughs> instrument. Cool. So um, I actually vibed it. I mean, yeah. Nathan could answer this one too. I haven't, I haven't asked him personally, but what is the like? What's the process of making a song? I don't think I don't think a lot of people are a lot of people are in the shadows about that. It's they don't really know. There's it's no long process. What's, it's what's the it's kind of it's there's mm-hmm. no like, just like there's a lot of different ways. But really, it's just kind of a grind. Like it's really just it's kind of weird. It just you don't really have anything, and then something like. Nathan will just come well, up with something. Well, the first part of it is finding what you're like, what genre you're trying to you're trying to play. So you, well, you yeah. make a no. You, well, I mean, it's different for everybody, but it's just that uh, it depends on the genre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like for I'm us, saying, like, it just kind of we just kind of slowly develop kind of like a just kind of a basic progression of chords and kind of uh-huh. like an idea of a song, and we just kind of kind of go off that, and we just kind of play it a lot, and we just kind of add stuff over time. Mm-hmm. It's. I just, I, it's, I don't really know. It just kind of happens. You well, know, it's, just, and it's kind of a, a weird. A lot process. of people, you know, don't know that in the music industry, you work with a lot of other people. You can't oh, just, yeah. you can't do it by yourself anymore. Yeah. The quality, the level of expectation from people is, mm-hmm. you yeah. just, you've got to be so talented to do it all yourself. Yeah. You yeah. Know, so it's like, we, you know, Bo writes with these other guys, and then we just combine everything, and then it's, yeah. 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 It's like once you have like a main idea that you've kind of made, you kind of go yeah. to other people to kind of work on lyrics, work on adding new things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um. So stuff like that. So, yeah. a lot of by trial by error and like. No, a lot of lot of you know, eh, it doesn't work. Cut it out. Put something new in. Mm-hmm. So, well, yeah. Kinda... So we go to the recording studio, obviously record all our parts, and then, you know, and then we send it over the, to the producer, and he does all his nifty transitions he has tons and of, tons of cool stuff. I mess with the frequency and like all that. And a lot then, of time yeah. Physics also. And then Bo, who is the <laughs> singer of our band, we don't we don't sing. So. No, <laughs> thankfully. I can do backup. Uh, not, yet, not, yet, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Definitely not, for, not recording quality, at least. Jeez. But um, <laughs> so but Bo usually flies or you know goes to somewhere else, Nashville, L.A., somewhere where they've got you know just insane oh, equipment yeah. and everything. And well, like a funny thing is like usually like by the time we're at the recording studio, we really don't know exactly what we're doing. Like yeah, that true. like two days before we were rehearsing, we we like we're rushing. And we just kind of throw stuff out, and we just kind of run in there, and we just kind of go with it. And it, that's kind of—I think it kind of helps because we come with a lot of cool stuff doing that. So yeah, yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of it is improvisation, yeah. bouncing ideas off each other. So. Yeah, Creative I mean, process. for yeah, specifically for example, I start off very much more complicated than it actually turns out to be because eventually it just becomes narrowed down to be simplified. It always, I always walk in there with something that's a little bit overcomplicated, walk and walk out of there with something that's very simplified than before at least it seems mm-hmm. like that so, you think so a lot make of it more cleaner thing. and more like uh what is, you know has more relation to the song yeah and not yeah. just like random stuff that interrupts or you know what other type of nonsense so like those sessions become like a funnel almost mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah especially like kind of the genre we're in like sometimes it's good to be a little bit more simple yes uh-huh. and that's kind of you gotta let the know. vocals take over sometimes yeah. So yes. yeah yeah so, uh-huh. yeah i mean going off of the you guys talking about your genre so you guys say your genre is like alternative rock. Is that your favorite genre to listen to, or is it to play? Not for you no. guys. Like how? Uh, what? It, what is? I guess your favorite type of music. Um, it uh, like <laughs> I can answer that for you. If no, you no, want no, I, it. Uh, I like I metal, like thrash metal. I like that. Classic, classic, classic rock, classic rock, classic rock, uh, kind of eighties pop, 
and just pop music in general. But kind of, it's all kind of over the place. But let's see, we bring that musical background a into our adaptation. songs, kind of. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But so it's like, funny. Like yeah. we don't listen to a bunch of like alternative pop bands. Like I'm, you know. We mm-hmm. listen to to- very much totally still different stuff. For me, I'm very much still in the And 80s. then you walk and you play, you like, we play a totally different genre than what we like listen to a lot, which is kind of funny, but it's also, you can, shows that you can branch out, and I think that's pretty important. Mm-hmm. So. so, what is your least favorite genre? <laughs> I'm definitely rap. Yeah, I mean, rap. Yeah, yes. Basically, any type, really. Um, no. I mean, like, some rap's cool. Like, there were some songs that are good. But like, that's seven, maybe six songs. Like, very limited, <laughs> very small. So, I mean, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. See, see that's, a, that's a controversial opinion because a lot of people love rap. No, 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 I don't like it. I'm not a big yeah. fan. Okay. Um, yeah. There's definitely like, I mean, like older stuff you could say like is good. This kind of newer stuff is kind of eh for me. So, mm-hmm. why do you think that know. is? Great. Just the great. sound. Well, so it's just, well, the sound would it be Valley Instruments? We obviously yeah, play that. So, we know. That makes sense. It just, we, in our, in our, by our perception, it's just that uh, we see it as super empty. Okay. Yeah, I guess okay. there are you. Sometimes you, I do get a little closed off, and you actually listen to like a song and you actually got like a yeah, pretty cool. Some like, of the stuff is actually pretty cool, cool instrumental like backing, that, yeah. and you, you mm-hmm. know you can appreciate that cool stuff. So. The one, the 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 you know dark mumble rap, just full on bass like that stuff, mm-hmm. I don't like. You know, but I, I like every genre. But that stuff, you know, gets a little, you know, like um, mm-hmm. what's an example? Just like hard, get, get a little stale. Hard rap. Well, actually, maybe well, what I said earlier, it's more about how. And the songs that we listen to is more dynamic, and there's you know it's a little more um, intricate. There's a lot more stuff. Well, yeah. I guess you know raps, raps, you know, rap songs are virtually just like vibe, or just like it stays at a certain level about you know the lyrics flow. That's interesting. So I'm just not interested in that rather than all yeah. that dynamic yeah. and like flowing. Sorry, so yeah, you're more interested but, in like the music, the, like the instruments. Yeah, the instrument I just appreciate that more. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I exactly. just, it That's just seems true. so down low because and just nothing to me. Hip hop, I say in general, is a lot different, and like. I mean, you have your producer, and then you have you know the artist, and like you can experiment with different sounds, different kind yeah. of like it can, you can be. I think I would say you can probably be more experimental in the type of stuff you put in to mm-hmm. a lot of hip hop music. Yeah, yes. But mm-hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, you rarely see an actual band you know performing with them. They're more. Yes. It is more like a performer type thing. Yeah. Um, hype up music. I know there's been a, there's a lot of like I'd say artists within hip hop that have gone like to the more like dramatic route. I mean, these people like. Um, XXX Tentacion or like Juice World that are more like those mellow rappers mm-hmm. I guess that's a that's a kind of a different thing too but yeah I, say, I like yeah, that say, I know I like I, I appreciate I, I, I like, I like those two guys good, yeah. pretty good mm-hmm. you know because those, those those instrumentals are I mean they use yeah. piano they use you know all the different yeah all the different stuff yeah and like I, I will say like at football like that's all they play so it gets like yeah. they're always playing just I swear like I've heard like eight Drake songs only and they just repeat that and it's <laughs> it just, just like, seems so it's monotonous it's so monotonous Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I don't really know. Like, I don't really like when like pregame. Like, I ain't listening to your rap music. I don't. I just don't. You know. Mm-hmm. So because during that time, you didn't know to get hot. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's different, some different definitions just, of that. Yeah. But, but it's just, just you know, you gotta feel something. Got I mean, again, that's which is funny because so. like like a couple in the elementary school, you listen to ACDC, you're like, wow, this is some heat, man. Like, mm-hmm. getting so juiced. But then now, like, you progress like further. It's like, well, that's kind of weak sauce. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like once you go down the rabbit hole of like, you know, heavier stuff, just it's like, well, that's, it's a little, it seems more so much fuller. Some of the not known songs are, you know, yeah. even, even sometimes better. So yeah, 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 yeah totally. I, I could definitely see that. Cause once you, once you have your, like your set on a certain genre, you can see like the intricacies and all that music and like how they're playing it, how they're doing stuff like that. And so, like, I think a lot of, like, especially with me, there's a lot of pop music mm-hmm. where I'm, like, or, like, um, like kind of like Sam Smith type music. Do you know what I'm saying? Where it's kind of, like, dramatic, okay. kind of, yeah. like, yeah. sob story That's kind of music. That's like pop, pretty much. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I, say it's, it's, I don't know, because it sounds a lot different than your song. It's more like that. We're, we're not really alternative pop. We're like alternative rock. Rock. Yeah, rock. Yeah, rock. But it's not alternative rock. Yeah. Genres like, are just we're not, not yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not alternative rock, You could say it for it's, like, yeah, yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a synthy <laughs> alternative pop rock. Yeah. I don't know. It's, 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 we we, we yeah. need to make a new genre. Yeah, new genre. Just us. Make a new one. Yeah, because there's a lot of those songs where I'm just like, it just feels like the same thing over and over again. But then there's people that I know that, like, they love that. They love that. Yeah. And, you know, they also, like, and then they, you know they can say the same thing about say like rap music or hip hop. Whereas since I listen to that type of music, I'm like, oh, I see the differences in here. But it's just like what you prefer, I guess. What automatically yes. sounds good to you, mm-hmm. and then you can see all the like stuff within that. So yeah, yeah. I think that is interesting for sure. But um, so that kind of goes like what what's in your playlist? Like what artists are you guys into right now? 
Um. I'm trying to remember. I can pull my phone out of my phone. Um. Okay, well, looks like a, it looks like a well, solid like, song. I though. would say like. For me, like for like a couple bands, I like like I prepared for like what's your favorite band? I have like three bands. Huh? Um, it'd probably be like Van Halen, Rush, and Metallica. Um, like yeah, kind of like solid, eighth, solid. eighth grade was kind of like big Van Halen. Ninth grade and tenth grade was kind of Rush, and then I've kind of gotten more Metallica. Um, which you know, sounds like your, ooh, inner Sandman, but you know, like, I think mean, your shirt <laughs> shirt kind of argues. Oh that, yeah, I got the Van Halen shirt on. So. <laughs> But um, I really like Metallica's probably my favorite band right now. Um, yeah. I, I listen to a lot of their stuff. I don't like it, so I would say those yeah. are my three favorite bands. So. I mean, that's all. I respect those like bands so much, though, because they record it all in one take, and it's nuts. Mm-hmm. They before they you know record it all together, right? No, they oh. record it separately. That, that was that's actually sad. like, which is cool though, <laughs> because I read that they didn't like they didn't have the technology, there, but they did some crazy stuff. Like they would. Mm. For like Ride the Lightning for Metallica, they would yeah. they would tune their guitars down and then play at a slower tempo, and then they would speed up the record. Oh, just edit it, speed to, it up. They'd speed it up so it sound like even tighter, and then like so it, that's pretty cool. Like doing huh. it, that's and then like for a lot of the guitar parts, like they would like layer like six guitar parts like perfectly, which is mm-hmm. like pretty pretty crazy. So yeah. that's how they get that good sound. So, mm-hmm. huh? If that's I were cool. to really choose really my fun. top three, and in no particular order. Toto. Okay. Red Hot Chili Peppers. And. Solid. Survivor. Okay. Those are little, they're all kind of in different time, you know, mm-hmm. eras, but. I mean, they've, they've got some great songs. Variety's great songs. Yeah. Right? Yeah, oh yeah. Do you have a favorite song right now? What's something that you just. Um, um, like, just want, you mean yeah, just like. You just like listening to it a lot? Well, uh. Danny California by uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. I don't know. I know. That's kind yeah. of the main one. Yeah. yeah that's a good song. Um, I mean, it kind of goes around. Um, if, you had, if you had to repeat one song over and over right now, what would you do? <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know. Blackened is pretty good. No, it's terrible. Nonsense. Don't see. Don't doesn't like it. It's, it's too, <laughs> it goes it's in too your bad. And, like funnels out and whiffs. It's, it's too. It's too, it don't can't handle oh. that level of heaviness, baby. But uh, so it, it slaps. Funny. It's got this crazy intro. Yeah. Um, it's cool. So funny. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Don't doesn't like it. I like that. So you play the drums. You play bass, right? Mm-hmm. If there was one like instrument you guys could play, like that, you you just one day. You get a genie that's like, that's like, you know, you play any other instrument you want, and what are you choosing? What's the like instrument? Like, be good at the instrument? Yeah, you just automatically oh, man. excel. It's a choice between... Wait, say, wait, say it one more time. For the... uh, um, so, like, you play you play drums, you play bass. There was, like, a genie one day that was like, you, I'll, I'll give you all the musical talent for one instrument only. <laughs> What instrument? What instrument what do you choose here? Well, my first thought was saxophone, but I'm, I'm like also like <laughs> you know the recorder's not a bad choice either. I've seen you try <laughs> saxophone. Uh, I mean, I mean, saxophone is whipping out those like crispy licks. Like that's pretty. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, but like, it, like guitar and piano are just so like versatile and just <laughs> yeah. so cool. Like being I mean, able to just play anything. You really want to think that because it's just so yeah. so good. But um, I, mean, I would have, I'd probably have to go piano probably because it's just there's just so much there's just they're everywhere. And you, there's just so much different synths stuff. And, stuff and too. You, like, you can play synth and yeah. like keyboards and just be like, you can play so many cool things. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Probably guitar for me. Yeah. Well, well yours, is, see, yours is different than us in the perspective of you don't play notes, right? Oh, yeah, so, I don't play notes. Uh, yeah. He, he does drums. Dylan does drums. Drake plays the bass. I should have said that earlier. So, yeah, I have no <laughs> musical intuition for playing string instruments or playing piano at all. So. Mm hmm. It's a, I just the rhythm. The, sometimes the rhythms that guitar player are very, very interesting. I like that a lot. And I just yeah. kind of like power chords. Yeah. It just sounds so good. Yeah. For no particular reason. Um. Yeah. And I just kind of dream like that sometimes. How'd you guys so. get into the instruments you guys play now? It's a good question. I mean. I mean, uh, our parents just kind of got them, and it's got them. It's like, and if well, you know, okay, we, you started out on piano. Yeah, well, we yeah. always start, we always took piano lessons starting okay. off. So like, yeah, yeah, our, our parents always years. did that just so we can always build a musical Little base foundation. And mm-hmm. then they got Dylan a, a like a you know just a starter Standard, drum kit. You know. And I got a, like a, just a Squire guitar. And Pearl Dylan stage. actually got pretty good. I was pretty buns at guitar. So my dad's like, well, well and, the- and Bo, our brother, already played guitar. So I was like, 
well, let's get a bass. And so I started <laughs> playing it, and I liked it. No, 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 no. It. But you started off with just the, the blue the, just yes, the blue the guitar. Yes, guitar. Yeah, I know. That's right. But then about a year later, <laughs> we got the bass, and I liked it. And I kept it. I thought it was a longer time after that. Like a long time after that. Because we got that. Okay, it was like, like, it was some, it was like four or two or three years later. And then I we got didn't a touch that, so well. It wasn't that long. It doesn't matter. Basically, we each kind of got our instruments and we enjoyed playing them, so we kept playing them. Not for me. Not well. When I got it, I played a little bit and then stopped playing it for like literally two years. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, no, I, literally, I like dropped it all. And then I remember uh, like family friends came over. I can't remember quite the reason, but they're just like, tell them, go play. And I was like crying in the corner because I was too scared because I just sucked. And I went on there and played, I was like crying and because I just like was so mad at myself because I never practiced. And, yeah. And then after you, I was like, oh, they lost their practice. Then the band started forming. And, and then, yeah. Yeah. Well, because nice. I used to have, I didn't, I, well, you can, we can go even back further when we, before we got like the actual instruments. In our closet, we had, these old, I think it was just like metal, some like really just cheap like metal, drums. metal material that were crappy. <laughs> like just crap. Like. And it was there was no like hardware associated with it, so I just kind of laid them out as if you know it was like a corpse drum, pretty close to that. Okay. But like all I played was this like big ugly snare, no big ugly bass drum, and then the snare. But I didn't even know that was a snare. But like it was ripped in half, and so I, I like played it like. By putting my stick in it and just like ripping around, making like a, you know, a handshake or sound or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That was nonsense, but hmm. yeah, that was even before that. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys can meet like a, a certain single musician or band, well, there you go. Who, who, who you guys? Who are you guys gonna gonna pull up to? Definitely Toto. 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 Yeah. Uh, Steve Ray Vaughan's pretty cool. Down 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 yeah, I gotta see him down well, there. Jeff Ricardo, the, the drummer for Toto, is uh, amazing yeah. at all the polyrhythms he does and it's like the this innovative ability to make something unique so mm -hmm. i i'd have to i mean much does he have to be living no no i have to go with beethoven beethoven Ooh. man, man Whoa. that Deeper guy was thought. like that guy <laughs> once you like break down his chords and like what he does it's not i mean the guy's a legend i mean yeah. it's just insane mm -hmm. how like just i don't know technical yeah. and everything he was but yeah, if, if if it was alive, um, Charlie Puth is a really, Another really talented guy. guy. He, is. he has a, he's that so. thing where you can he can. Um, oh, perfect pitch. Yeah, yeah you can like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah he knows watched, what they, that's weird. How does that even work? Well, I remember talking it's to my choir teacher a little bit about that, and he said it's like kind of a double-edged sword sometimes because they're like a little crazy a little bit because it like he said he knew a couple people, but she like gets annoyed at the, when the birds sing out of tune. And like it's like, like, little, yeah. it's, like it's like a, it's I think. That are it's, kind of it's, like it's pretty very cool. Odd. It's strange. It's, it is. But in general, it's, it's it's rather amazing. It's like they just associate it. I think they associate it with something, and they, they just naturally just they just can instantly tell. Well, like another yeah. person like associate that's with like colors, with like colors or with colors. Yeah. So they that's just have true. a very odd understanding of it, that's, that's, but it that's allows actually, them to you know achieve. That's a good analogy, actually. Like, like terms. So yeah, it's colors. it's crazy. I I I'm trying to do it. It's hard. I mean, most people you know you're either born with it or you really have to. Work dial on in it. everything, but mm -hmm. yeah, I can get like I know an A or an E, but besides uh, yeah. that, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. But besides <laughs> I, that, no I'm idea. Usually, I'm usually guessing. Yeah, <laughs> then then just yeah, oh, yeah. twelve different yeah. notes, and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, nice job, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and ask another question. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I can wait. I can wait till you. No, no, you're good. Okay, okay. Well, I was saying, I mean, you guys. <laughs> seem like really busy people because obviously you guys are very talented um athletes in the, in the football world down in texas oh yeah plus you guys are in this band how do you, how do you guys really balance that or um, you, like, i mean in school too you, you, and school, you forgot their and we also we also do this like smart. western dance thing too so that's just another thing but um yeah, how do you have 20, 24 hours of the day to i mean really we stuff. have a lot of time to do things yeah i mean football does take a lot of time but um like band it's Usually it's not, a lot of us just doing stuff on our own and then yeah. coming together Individual, for like rehearsing you know, and learning practice. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, football does take you know like having practice. It's just if you maintain a consistent, spe you know, uh, whatever, it's, whatever it's called, schedule. schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get it done. It's not too yeah. terrible. It's not like I mean, we can't really. We, obviously, Western dance. It's only on like a Monday. You can't. You know, you have to have a partner. Obviously, so you can't uh, practice that on your own. But like nothing's you know taking up their entire. That's life right no, now. Yeah. no, I mean, but, like, football is... You know, when, when you get older, oh, yeah. you know, football 
or music or whatever blows up, you know, yeah. that'll obviously shift. shift. Yeah. But like, really, it's not like I'm just one of those kids who's like has no time for anything. Is always like driving around. <laughs> yeah. and it's really like you know, like we have football, and then you get home, you do homework. I'd say we're more spontaneous out. as you know we're down here in Kansas. Yeah, like we've been all we were just in Ohio. It's either don't time we're just we're, just we're always just places. out doing. Something. And the weekend always has something else. Like the weekend, oh, yeah. you know, we That's came back for the weekend, or we'll be there for the weekend. Mm -hmm. But there's so little, just, there's little, you know, yeah, yeah. time periods where you're. Oh, yeah. And you can make your day however long you want. So if you want to stay up till two a.m., yeah, playing video games. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> they never do that. Never. All right. Um, um, but I, I was gonna say, do you guys want to like? I mean, most of the audience or people that are listening or watching. Here, let me you say that. Oh gosh, um, I gotta put this out. Most people that are like listening or watching. <laughs> um, have to edit that out. I probably don't know who you yeah. guys are, unless they you know. They, they do know who you are, but um, <laughs> well, I guess like, like, you personally, private. personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Just ask so, the do you want to like detail, um, your guys' I guess football careers? I guess that you call them. Or, oh, or, no, or, a little bit. About, um, your, about your football. I mean, adventures. I started. I was always kind of like hyped up because I was always tall, but I was always really skinny, and I really wasn't that good. I was okay. And then like, quarantine hit. Sophomore year. No, <laughs> and like sophomore year, it got like because you know I was going to be junior next year, and. I was really like so like not like not good enough that our coach had me behind a freshman who got moved up for varsity playoffs. If our right tackle got hurt, he was going to go in instead of me because I was like just not I was not playing. Too much. Well. So they play like, okay. They, first off, they play line, so you're off, offensive line. Yes. There you go. And then you're trying to. Well, yeah. No, I'm gonna. Well, uh, I'll, I'll have to play right guard because there's no. We don't have enough big but guys you who want good to. Enough. But I, yeah, to play fullback or the halfback, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then quarantine. Um, I gained like 30 pounds and then, and there's still a lot of questions like going into 2020 season, um, you know, cause it was all new guys, every single person had never started on the offensive line mm. and we played really well and we got made it the third round and I thought I played pretty well that season. Yeah. And so, yeah. And then got a call from UNT a couple well, of months. Well, no, well, the thing before, yeah, yeah. before college ever really hit us and we thought about going to the next level, our general idea was that we'll be good enough to go play at, you know, uh, D3 a D3 school. school. Yeah, we would really, be a lot of fun, but we'll mostly focus on academics and yeah. uh -huh. we'll have a good time at that. And that's really what I thought. Yeah. That I, would, I like, okay, I had a good junior junior year and, you know, senior year I'll get a little heavier, get a little stronger, do better, and I might get some looks, you know, after senior year. Um, we, we just put, we, we, you know, throughout the years of knowing college football, it's like we just thought it's just a really an insurmountable goal that's just so prestigious that it's hard. We can reach uh, that. I mean, D1 no one, is, yeah. But it's, yeah. But, and then, I don't know, in March, I got a call from, random, random call for UNT. Not random, but it was like pretty spontaneous. Yeah. And I got an offer from UNT and, you know, everything went kind of crazy. And, and, yeah, and it changes a lot of things. Too. Is that North, yeah. North Texas? North Texas, yes. They were the first, yes. So, and really. And also got Oh, and then Tulsa. Tulsa was like a couple weeks after that. And then um, Lamar and then Sam Houston. So and Sam Houston State won the FCS national title this year. So they're and they're they're FCS, but they're they still like very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, because they're the you know champs. But um, that's very cool, and it changed a lot of things. You know, it changes your perspective. Yeah. And it, there's a little bit more weight. You know, you gotta you gotta keep yourself to a higher standard. You gotta work a little harder because you know you gotta keep getting better. Can't be slacking. Well, it's at just that the, level, it's well, it's just yeah. that in the fact. I think also another addition. I was thinking that it was too difficult to reach. Is that like you have to be, you know, just you have to be on the college level already when you get there. But that's not that's not reality. And especially for Jake's position yeah. as an offensive lineman, mm -hmm. they're looking for three to four years of development before you even you know play a game. You're going to be mm -hmm. registered automatically, obviously, and you'll just be two three years of getting bigger and stronger because yeah. offensive linemen mm -hmm. or any lineman size matters. Yeah, and it's not like I'm just like some crazy dominant like four star yeah. just unit. It's really the coaches see the height. Really, it's the height which is kind of lucky height for me. Is, I haven't had to do anything the, for that. So I just that. height and athleticism. You guys got the technique too. And technique. Well, that yeah, helps. that. Well, that, really, that does matter a lot. That does of matter. Course, more than I give more credit. Really, it's more height and athleticism because they know like yeah. once you get in the college program, they're gonna slap sixty like fifty pounds of just muscle on you, and you know you'd be two ninety. Yeah. 
they don't have to worry about you being some big tub. You know, if you're already athletic, mm. they can't coach that. So I'd that's say, what they're yeah. looking for. I'd say technique is probably well, one, yeah, hard, one of the hardest I mean, No, no, but I mean, we thought also, that before, and like, oh, they'll just teach you there. But half the reason we, uh, we went to, like I said, we went to Ohio, and we were just there a couple of days ago, mm. and we met uh, a kid named Connor, and he's probably even... He's height, bigger, he heavier, bigger stronger, stronger than I am. Than Drake, no, he's, he's, yeah, he's his form is not up to snuff on like... Uh, uh, there's like... It doesn't come near Drake's you know, technique oh, and ability. Well, no, Drake, not, that's the reason why. And he only has like D2 offers even though he's bigger than Drake. I know, but he's still got a good technique. I, I think he's... Yeah. But that's but the reason why. Well, but that's what set Drake apart. That's the reason why. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, um, well, <laughs> also, I, I always thought technique too, but I got—I was talking with the Boston College guy, and he said you're going to do a workout, and he's like, it, you, "You're going to work out with like the offensive line coach." And I was like, "Okay, cool." He's like, "Well, you know, am I going to do technique?" He's like, "Yeah, technique doesn't really matter. Just can just, just do some athletic drills, like five, ten, fives, and sure, see how, like, how how athletic you are." And that's really what they're looking for, because mm. like he did, he's like, right, technique. You probably wouldn't do anything about technique while, really? or, when you work out with him." Because like oh, okay, you, okay. you do visit a workout, and it's just like you and maybe a couple other guys. Yeah, yeah. And he's not; he's probably not going to be looking for that. Is what I think is what I told me. And so that kind of showed me is like speed. It's, and... it's athleticism that you can't teach height, and you can't teach like base athleticism. It's hard to teach. Well, athleticism. yeah, and how yeah. So yeah. how you move your muscles along with your hips because hips yeah. matter a lot. They can, you, you know, like technique yourself. is very important. That's going to really get. That's going to help you get looks. But like athleticism is also very important yeah. too. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. What about you, Dylan? Well, I was just probably saying technique a little bit more because I have a little bias to me because obviously being... being Your technique. Honestly, guy. well, it's like being under Bill's 240, very I only weigh 225, and only being... The height, you know, I'm not, that's not that uncommon as an offensive... Uh, sorry, right guard of me being like six one and a half ish um, That's not uncommon, but I'm definitely undersized. And obviously, that's this is not a position I choose to, but, I, uh, you know, for the team, obviously, I'm going to do it. I'll, you know, give it all I can. But I am undersized, so I have to prioritize technique. That's the only reason why I'm going to win. It's uh, true. I'm not going to yeah. win by just strength alone. Yes, I'm strong, but weight really matters a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you got them, you know, 300 pound D tackles. Just you can use it's like why, like if I were to go, I can meet someone diagonally a lot better than someone just head up on me because the space between us, I'm gonna, any any of my speed's going to get nullified, and they're just mass is going to absolutely crush me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's just the impending doom I face. So my <laughs> technique has to be good. Yeah, yeah, it has to be spot on in order to win. So, and like yeah. I still would just mm-hmm. lose kind of often because there's some just big old fatty on me, <laughs> and it's yeah. just difficult to move him because yeah. he's like sixty pounds more than me. Mm-hmm. So, um, but all this, but all that, you know, not saying I don't like, I like blocking and all that. So, Dylan has some. Um, but that's Crazy the thing that some colleges funny. are looking for, yeah. and that's why that's my opportunity in college. It's kind of a full pack position, or even if that doesn't go play linebacker, because the the bodies required, the athleticism required for fullback and linebacker go hand in hand. But they have different disciplines, so that's kind of like a you know last minute ditch effort to you know be uh, positive for the team. But yeah, they're looking at least for fullbacks. They they want you to already know how to block. Like they don't want to have to teach that to you. They mm-hmm. can, they'll make you a little more they they'll make you more athletic and all whatnot, but they don't want to have to teach you blocking. Yeah. That's that's like the final method of a fullback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that puts me in a good position. Yet still, even if it is not what I want to play. Mm-hmm. Have you guys been able to learn a lot from uh, Mr. Person? I know we had him. Yeah. I guess we went to Ohio watch. to do. Um, yeah. Episode two was with Mike Person, the NFL player. Um, played for nine years and was in the 2019 Super Bowl. So we got to uh, good friends of mine. So. We got to stay at his house, and you guys went to the camp, um, the Five Dot Academy. Five Dot Academy. What did you guys think? Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, yeah, I had a great time. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's The thing that is, is like there's no just like secret ingredient that he's just going to tell you that's just like, oh, yeah. now you're going to be an NFL player because I taught you this, and you're just going to be amazing. <laughs> really, it's, just, it's really refining your technique and yeah. skill and speed. And he knows so much, and he can tell you so much, and that's what really helps is all these details and all these technique very stuff that he knows. It's very, yeah, very it's, specific drills. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And it's, so I mean, that's there's no like, that. oh, okay, you just got to do this, and everything will be fixed. Well, it's mm-hmm. a lot of different things and a lot of different techniques you can work on, like hand well, fighting, like, feet, you know, weight. It, you know, the weight that's pushed on your feet, the angle of your hips and legs, the way you make contact, how close your arms to your body, your body position relative to your you know lower your know, lower body. Yeah. There's a lot of specific things you work on, like your ability to see, your peripheral vision. How do you do uh, 
kickbacks to depending on where the alignment is alignment. I mean, there's a lot of things, very small detail things we worked on, which are very good for our development. So yeah, no, yeah, we learned tons of stuff. And he has so much to say. And he, you know, he did all that. So we, you know, talked to him about experiences in college and NFL. It's very cool to hear that stuff. So yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah for sure. Um, I want so like, do you guys have any? Do you have a question? No, no, I was, I was going to say, do you want to keep... Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, go ahead, okay. I could do that. Another segment. Yeah. Uh, but, like, so, you guys, like, what is your ultimate goal of football? You think you can make it all the way to that pro level? No, I don't want to be anywhere yeah. near NFL. I'm going there really? for academic purposes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm like... Talking, I'm using... Were you... The objective, the, the objective, or the purpose, to use football... Or, sorry, for football, is to use it to be get, to get to the highest academic level we can. It doesn't mean we're gonna choose. We're gonna just automatically like we get in the Princeton. Oh, we'll choose Princeton immediately. Obviously, the, you know, there's the, the money. But you're thinking like things, maybe Yale or just, something. You know, yeah, those are good options. Of some of that high academic level that we can we can't reach just by ourselves, but with football we can. And really, it's yeah, like so. paying for school too. Like, yeah, if you have an offer, you know, too. you don't have to pay for school, and that's really a really important. At deal. first, we didn't realize that you know how big of an impact, but it's just reality yeah. sets in. Do you want that much debt? No. And kind of like how it is for me, like I didn't, you know, as this goes on, you know, your perspective changes like, okay, I got the offer. Well, I'm just kind of going with it is how it is. So like, I'm just kind of going to go and if I play one well college and that, that the NFL opportunity shows itself, I'll just probably keep going. Mm-hmm. But like, like it's how it's been. I'm just kind of going, just doing the best I can going with the flow and just going yes, with the sir. flow. And it's not like I just, oh, I got to make it NFL. It's like, well, I'm getting my college play for, I want to have a great college career and have a great academic mm-hmm. time college, there. College so. levels, I mean, no, it's, don't, it's, no, it's, it's no, cool. Go where you no, live it's and it's cool. still going to be hard. But, yeah, it, but it's every, cool. Yeah. It is, it's cool to be a part so, of something like that. But, you know, it's just kind of just taking it where it goes. So mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I have, this is kind of a, this is a short question, but you guys live in Dallas right now, right? Mm-hmm. From Kansas City. So who do you root for? Oh, oh, Chiefs. Oh, oh, Chiefs. Okay, okay. I mean, like, I, I like the Rangers. I like, the, I like watching the Rangers, you know. Rangers, I like the Rangers, but I like the Royals probably a little bit more. Okay. Well, the football teams at least, uh, you know, it's just Chiefs. Yeah, we've always been watching Chiefs. Chiefs and Cowboys. Cowboys just, I mean, they're balanced. Come on now. <laughs> but, and then, do you have a favorite, like, offensive lineman player you in the NFL? Um. Well, you know, like you know, Mister Person. You know, obviously when he was playing, like yeah, obviously him. But uh, yeah. right now, I mean, Quentin Nelson's always fun to watch. He's so good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like I like watching all the you know because the Chiefs O line. Like I like all those guys. There, I don't watch so. the O line very much, honestly. I like watching the O line. There's always so much like little stuff going on. Like no, yeah, guys. no, like they go back on replays and like that's very interesting. I like that, mm-hmm. obviously. Would you if you could play any other position? I don't ask with the instrument. Like, what position would you choose? Then? Uh, defensive end. Probably. Defensive end. I always, really? I always would play safety. defensive end, but yeah. I'm too slow. I was a lot back before they moved me to offensive line, so if I could go back there, I would. But mm-hmm. obligations require differently. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. Like uh-huh. in football, like there's so much going on in the like even like a high school game. There's so much stuff you don't like hear on like that's going on between the line mm-hmm. and just people talking Trash and talk. yelling. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it makes it, it makes a lot of fun. Like NFL, like that's what, you know, Mr. Purse was talking about, like all the people, like how they were, what they said. Well, yeah, because you don't really hear that doing. even with the, you know, crazy microphones they have or put in there. You still don't hear some of that chatter oh, even, no. even mm-hmm. with the mic up and whatnot. Yeah. Well, they probably don't want you to hear yeah, that Yeah. Stuff, well, that's yeah. the point. <laughs> but, <laughs> they can't. Uh, uh-huh. But no, that's definitely like a cool thing to like, you know, be a part of, like yeah. just know yeah, what's going on. The field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, my final question. And to, I think unless people like live in Texas, like you guys, I probably wouldn't be, wouldn't really know this, but um, I've seen like some, I've seen some clips on Instagram on, on Twitter and all that stuff of the of the high school football atmosphere in Texas specifically, and some of those stadiums, some of those teams. Oh, it's not. Is there some? Is there everything's a bigger in Texas? Feeling about <laughs> Texas football that kind of separates it from other places. Yeah, it's definitely a crazy experience. <laughs> Your stadium is bigger and, than some college. Oh, our stadiums. stadium. Yeah, like because because we're right next door to South Lake. Yes. Like across the highway. Is South Lake Dragon Stadium, and they're they're, they're like the they're six A D one. They played in the state game. They've won like six national titles. They're like the best. So like our, we, I bet I think I thinking between between like us is like okay, we got to match their stadium because their stadium's really big. So we <laughs> redid our stadium and put like just a massive, really nice stadium. Very in there. nice, and it just makes it stands and just like. Just all the teams that are just so good. It just it's just such a crazy thing to be a part of, and it's just it's definitely yeah. a, you know really cool atmosphere to be like oh I play Texas football you know. <laughs> um, it's just like well you know the games we played along on the road, you know third round are there's two three commits on their team that were oh yeah of D one status and just yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, like, are there, are there, was, your like was your seniors last year, were they – um, were they good or? Yeah, no, we had a very good team. Our seniors were very good. Yeah, um, we had some guys go to D one schools, and we had a receiver go get a uh, preferred walk on to Texas Tech. He was amazing. Really? And then our tight end, he went to cool. uh, Stephen F. Austin. The, and the tight end before him went to Columbia. Uh, Columbia. So like we, oh. you know, but we like, have, and we're we're, we're far, like a five I mean, a division two for some reason. <laughs> you know, we're not like a big time school, but we still got people yeah. Yeah. like coming through that are really good. Mm-hmm. And you know, you play like just. A lot of big names, a lot of big schools. Like there's like o- like four star Oklahoma commits, and there's three star yeah. guys, and there's you know just the three, the three star guy was definitely better than the four star guy, but better. Yeah, oh, <laughs> way better. It's like the the, the, other the guy stars. Was way, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the stars. The stars are um, sure. Yeah. So, but those guys are really good. And, you know, you just play stuff, and you, it's just a really cool thing to be a part of. Yeah. You know, and you I'm, know, I'm, even yeah. other people from other states recognize that. Like we're yeah. talking with some of. I've been I've been to the stadium and. It's, I mean, yeah, yeah like our older brother, his friends were talking about, oh, yeah, playing in Texas, man, that'd be so cool. You know, you, like people from Kansas, they, they see that, like, you know, Texas is a big deal for football. So it's, it's a big, cool I mean, you guys, that. like, Texas. like, I remember when, Texas, I, when I watched your, uh, <laughs> when I watched your, uh, your game, you guys had the, like, they had the giant, you know, how, like, some oh, football it, teams oh, come out. Oh, we got some, this massive float called the Bams, oh, just wow. big old Mustang head. Yeah. And honestly, like, we get in there and it's like, we're just all standing around there, like, just a bunch of chumps. Because, like, there's some, like, <laughs> random rap music playing in the back. And we're just like, ooh, you know. <laughs> and then, then, but then you charge out. And it's like, then yeah. you charge out and it's all cool. But, like, people think we're just bumping in there. But really, we're just kind of, like, sitting there waiting for us it's to get out of there. So, <laughs> that's funny. It's but fun it's, like, that. it's some massive, it's, like, 20 feet tall. And it's All the other schools have their own version of their own thing. And it's it's funny. So, yeah. It's great. <laughs> All right, it's funny. The uh, the long weighted section. Okay, well, yeah. Um, our last segment. Thank you guys for you know coming on with us. But um, oh, of course. <laughs> so we got we got. I I figured we'll stick with the food topic. Um, just to, but yeah, our uh, our end segment is called rate the cookie. We've been wanting to do this for a while. <laughs> We've been wanting to do this for a while. But uh, we just, you know, we haven't gotten to it yet. Today, we have a new store that has just blown up across America. I'm talking this store in June. It just, they just opened like 18 stores just in June. It's nuts. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Crumble cookies. Crumble cookies is, is nuts. Their size of their cookie, massive. Their flavors, so much variety. They switch it every week. I mean, it's, it's nuts. It's good so model. we're going to try this week's, which is, really is. all candy flavored. Oh, so they've shit. got Sour Patch Kids, Kit Kats, Heath Bars, Whoa. and M&M's. M&Ms. I can't is, imagine is that, the Sour Patch Kid on a yeah, cookie. Yeah, Sour Patch Kid. I, I want to try it. I, I think it's just like, like wait, is it part of the batter? It's like Sour Patch Jam. <laughs> jam, okay. Wait, is it like part of the batter? Um, no, they just, it's no. just like, it's just like, uh, I guess it's part of the sweet part of it, and there's some jam. Is it, or is it like, well, is it, when they say the Heath cookie... Is the Heath part like I'm saying? Is it just like, or is it just I think a there's a feeling? I think there's a filling. Oh, it's like a yeah. filling. Yeah, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's like a there's, there's like a there's something in there. There's five. There's I'll five flavors. It. There's Heath, Kit Kat, M M&M, and M, Sour Patch Kids, and there's another one. Well, they do their Reese's thing, but that's not new. No, but for this week they always have six flavors. Uh, I think it's just chocolate chip. They usually just have their normal chocolate chip. But then they, they took out sugar cookie for something else. I, think. I don't know. Look at me. I know. I wanted to, I know I want to see what they are. So yeah, we got we got them here. Um just absolutely insane. <laughs> Haven't seen anything like it. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and put. They it, have actually put a very nice here. boxing technique. Uh, take just yeah, take a peek at that real quick. Oh yeah, it's mostly just absolutely well, insane. Oh, I'll take the tips off. What's that? So we're gonna <laughs> what? I'll take the top. Well, Dylan can eat the. Dylan can eat it. We'll, we'll it. Dylan's gluten free, sadly. So sad. Um, oh, healthy though. Oh, so, I gotta cut it. In. Oh so, man. We'll cut it. I forgot you mentioned that before the episode. The gluten free. It doesn't yeah, matter. It is. I mean, eh, yeah, it's it kind of sucks. It. But all right. Dude. So we're gonna we're gonna, gonna try each cookie, and then we're gonna rate it one through ten. Obviously, ten being the best. Um, one being and and we'll see. You know, we'll see. I'm hyped for the sour patch kids the most. I haven't had. I, I knew Nathan. I, just one just down. <laughs> I haven't had crumble cookie in a a fat probably a week minute. or so. No, it's been a minute for me. Okay. We usually <laughs> we went like four yeah, like, like two four, months like just straight yeah, or like, like four a, weeks like a, yeah four yeah, weeks straight we got the flavors there yeah. we had to try them out oh All my right, gosh so, okay 
Uh, you're all cut because uh, I'm, I'm portion control here. I can't, I can't reach. <laughs> portion control. Portion control. Oh, what am I? What's it? Just do force. Oh, just do force. Uh, yeah, just do force. Is that how you say that? Like, not just not partisan. Not party. Here, watch the mic. Watch the mic. Bipartisan? Behind you. Tripartisan? So there's three of us? Watch. No, and watch the mic behind you. Making me hungry, man. <laughs> Alright, yeah. What do you what do you are you excited about the sour patch ones or uh, kinda like uh, uh, Loki, like I wanna try cookie. that M M&M. and M. M M&M and M looks good. It's just like a yeah. nice classic. See my uh, my grandma makes M and M's and so you those hers are. Oh, well, no, the I don't want to compare it. The Heath, oh. the Heath looks in the hers, the hers, hers are too hers good. Too good. You gotta do it. <laughs> I don't think her her M and M's just can't be. I'm gonna go predict the Heath will be the best. Yeah. Heath looks That's a solid prediction. Because the Kit Kat just looks like a regular. Yeah. Uh, there's so much stuff on that. I think, Heath, I think it is just a regular cookie. Just kick regular out cookie. Yeah. Oh, I cut that in half. Well, then cut it in half again. Cut it in half again. That makes you, you four. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could do that. Oh. I'm doing perfect, like. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing the try. Are you trying to make it more complicated than it is? Unbelievable. All right. Yeah, I think I have to cut out the entire cookie cutting part. Which one are you doing right now? The M&M. Okay. I guess I'll try the M&M. I don't know. We should have cut these beforehand. Yeah. Huh? We should cut these beforehand. <laughs> Send oh. us like 20 minutes more because it's just me cutting them. Yeah, you probably can. Yeah. My bad. I should have cut, cut them before. Hell, what are I I gotta try I gotta try this. Do Wait, so Miller, what songs have you been listening to? What yeah. songs I've been listening to? He likes to? the... Um, Classic stuff. rap, right? Just, I mean, I mean, oh, I like, I like, I like, I like all types like of rap. To be honest, I mean, I mean, every time I hear you play, genres. I mean, I'm not all genres, all eras of rap music. To be honest, every time I hear you play, like if you're connecting to the speaker, you know, you play the there's, yeah the there's a lot 1990s, of early 2000s like, stuff. Some biggie. I don't have much 90s stuff. Okay. Most well, of it's early to mid 2000s, like 2000. Like I will say, I T Pain's pretty good. I like listening to some T Pain. I actually don't think I have any T Pain songs. Oh, me either. In my playlist, but there's a lot. Uh, of, I got a couple, but a lot of um, Andre three thousand. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, hold on. Um, <laughs> like we don't need, hold. Oh, on. I was divvying them out, but I don't know. Andre, yeah, there's a good amount of content. Right, here we go. We're going. Well, no, 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 no. Grab, yeah, I was gonna everyone, say, I was gonna everyone say. grab like uh, one to try from Jake. You try the. Uh, I already did you cut everything? Yeah, yeah. Apart, bro. Oh my gosh. Jake, you grab the. I already uh, have two. No, no, no. But you like you. Everyone eats the same one. Oh no. Oh, eating the same one at the same time. Yeah, you gotta try this one out. Bro, I gotta lower right. the mic. I gotta lower I'm the doing mic. Sour Patch. Everybody do everybody do Sour Patch at the same time. Alright, right, three, two, one. Okay, well, I'm lagging. Down the gutter. Wow. Holy crap. I'm surprised. That's that's nuts. It's a liquid goo or what? Pretty much. You don't <laughs> like it? Thank God, because I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> so weird. Wow. It's already gone. What do you mean? Really? Yeah. That's solid. I think it's really good. It looked that like is, it felt like the softest. It, it's pretty yeah. good. Is My brain can't handle like the sour patch kid and a cookie at the same. It's just so weird. Like I, I don't know. I it's put solid, too much icing dude. on it because like the jam with the icing. I don't know if it mixes super well. You know what I'm saying? I like lots of icing, so. What? what? Uh, <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Him and I'll do that. But. Comparing it to the rep, what happened to your mic? It was down here, so like, I didn't bump into it. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to go with 7.5. I'm going to give it, I mean, it's refreshing. Like, like there's a lot of cookies where it's like chocolate it stuff. Is, it is colder, too. It's, it's nice. So, like, so maybe 8. Maybe so eight. thirsty and doesn't, doesn't feel good. Maybe it's even true. more accurate just to rank which one's best give worst, it, or just like... I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 6.5 with 7. That's a, I was going to give it I'm going to give it 7.5. I like it. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going M and M. M and M. Okay. The nice classic M and M right Hold there. This will just taste like. No, you gotta get the M and M's. Plain Monday. Oh, look. <clears throat> um. Just a food podcast. Um. <laughs> oh, did I not get part? Okay. It's underneath right. there. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Pretty basic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's like a regular M&M cookie. Well, duh. I know, yeah, but like, no. this is obviously more just basic. normal. To be honest, I like my grandma's better. Honestly, it tastes, it tastes more like cookie cake than it does like. M&Ms on their own aren't that aren't that good. 
True. Actually, I'm them. Except like like the peanut butter ones. Peanut butter caramel ones. Let me change those are nuts. Classic M&M's is kind of... Yeah, classic M&M's is like crap. I do not like peanut, peanut M&M's. For this one. I don't those like those. Those are the best. Peanut M&M's, really? you take a gallon full of those. Mm-hmm. I don't like them. I, you, oh, you feel less yeah. guilty because, you know, 80% of it, it's a peanut. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it helps your conscience yeah. as well. I had high hopes for this cookie. Yeah. yeah why why did you have high hopes? Because it's a nice classic Like It's just a M&M cookie. Like, like, it's supposed to be It's supposed to be gourmet cookies. It tastes like a nice classic And now I'm going to give this a 4 M&M. out of 10. I'm giving this a 4 out of 10. Now I'm giving it's it, not, it's, it's not bad. I'm giving it a 6, six out of 10. Well, then you guys basically made me more on uniqueness. So, like, yeah. you know, like Is that, surprising Well, place. but it's really not even, It doesn't even taste that good. Like, I've had Your grandma's cookies with M&M's taste better than that. Yeah. Sure, you, sure. Your grandma's cookies are more like crispy. These are kind of just kind of This one, at least, it doesn't work well with M&M. It's kind of dry, too. A little dry, a little dry. <laughs> okay, this this right. heat thing looks low. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll agree. I'll agree. I'll go four. Not. I mean, I don't know. It's not it's bad. It's not bad. It's not, it's not, I eat it again, but I'm not gonna like. But I mean, again, it's again. not like a crazy flavor either. Yeah. So you, oh, you, yeah. you can't expect too much of it either. It's true. It's yeah. true. Okay, what do we got left here? What What do we want to do? Kit Kat. Uh, what are we doing? Try, try. Is this Kit Kat? The, the yes, light is, is the yes. uh, heat. The light frosting. I'll try it part of this. Okay. Remember to leave some for your mom. Yep, I there I already left. No, no, this, this is Kit Kat, so never mind. This also looks like just a thick, let me do it. dry this cookie. We doing Kit Kat? You get the Kit Kat part. Wow. Okay. No okay. one um, really got the the best that part. Of that which part, bro? Hmm. All right. Um, I don't know how to bite into this, man. Uh... Hmm. Ooh, the inside? Nah, that's just base cookie. Basic. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of cookie. It's just the topping that makes it Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah. Nah, maybe, I don't think they might. Oh, really? Kind of interwoven a little bit? I don't know if it's chocolate chips or, or, but. Um. I feel like I just ate Kit Kat with some cookie underneath it. Well, you had, you also had the Kit Kat. Without the Kit Kat, doesn't, did you try it? What do you think? Yeah. Like seven out of ten. This is solid. seven out of ten. Really? Okay. I'm not gonna Honestly, give it. Honestly, I'm, I'm not just gonna, gonna say it. I'm not a big fan of these crumble cookies. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, they're just. You're like, like a giant cookie guy. I know, but like, they're just too rich or what? Yeah, very rich. Like very, just like crumbly, and just kind of over the top. Wow, it's like, crumbly. That's Uh-oh. gonna like make you puke right there, golly. <laughs> Good thing it's not that great. <laughs> I'm gonna go five. But how much better could it be? I don't think it'd be much better. So I, I mean, gotta like, give it. Already is kind of I gotta different. give it just a basic five. I guess what I said too. Yeah. Yep. 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 The Heath one looking solid though. Look Try at that Heath. All right. Well, it's just, I, I'm, I'm not understanding what's so unique about them. They're just big. They they tons a, they're of crap giant. on them. They do. They do use they different use, dough for different flavors. Yeah. So they, they also do that. Usually they're way more unique than this. Well, this is to like me, really basic that just unique. looks like okay. Got chocolate cookie, some icing, Heath topping. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, what else? True. True. Do, true. I don't know. No, they've done some. They've done some pretty creative stuff. They're like their pina colada one. That was nuts. Like, yeah. Okay. So that that would be very interesting. That was, wanna, And their sugar cookie is really good. The sugar cookie is just a solid sugar cookie. But, um, but yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. No big, problem. Uh, no problem. Um, big ups. So comment what we should do next. Yeah. We, I mean, we've got a couple ideas. Nothing. Nothing extremely lined up with that. But we've got some. some Please like the video. Potentially. Sorry. Um, potentially big names in the in the book. Ooh, Ooh who we got? So we got, we got uh, Tom, Tom Dabo, Dabo, Should we, Dabo, should we uh, give him? Sweeney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Yeah, um, I, I, I know uh, Nick Saban. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Actually, Patrick Mahomes is coming on here next week. All right, Stay well. Stay tuned for that. Uh, let me see if this still recording. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next. <laughs> please, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just that in there. Uh, please make sure you subscribe. By the way, because. We're, we're doing this for free right now. We're not getting any money. We're actually in debt. I'm mean, not in debt, but I'm spending money that oh, I haven't wait. gotten back yet. He's mortgaged the house. Yeah. yeah. So, the house is going to be gone. You see us on the street. He's a old call <laughs> student. He needs, he needs. So, uh, but yeah. They have a good fund me in the bio. Honest, I mean, subscribing's free. Just do it. You know, it's not, it's not a pain to do it. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace. Later.